All right, Eska, so this is a bit rough and ready, this video. We spotted the solar cleaner stand. Let's see if we can see what's going on. They have something new to show us, which is need to check because we have the uh, solar cleaner. We have the beep in the front. And, uh, we are, we are checking so let's see if I can get the scoop to, to, to fix it for the Paul for, for the brushes. Good morning. Steve. How are you doing? How are you, Steve? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So talk us through this new baby. What's what's this all about? There, there's a new baby of solar cleaner. It's the L1 dedicated to big roofs, big uh, ground-mounted uh, systems, and also for a, a single uh, panel trackers, 1P. You see the brush is um, 2.45 uh, meter, because new the size of the new panels is 2.3. Yep. This we have uh, 15 centimeters more. This you can clean a single, uh, a single assist tracker uh, immediately in one pass, yep. and go to the, to the next one. Yep. This we have also two different kind of brushes. You have a long long brush, one in one part, yep. with bigger whistles yep. to when the panels these are not um, are not flat, when they bend a little bit or yep. when the installation is not very flat, then you can also clean deeper. Okay. And then you have also the two brushes here, separate, and then you see the brushes can move ah, independently. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's a system that allowed uh, the cleaner to have a very good result with every time the same um, the same kind of result and the same combination we can have for the for the F1 is you have the four different kind of brushes yeah this you have the pads we can uh, reach uh, 26 degrees tilt 26 26 wow yeah this it's uh, very very interesting for uh, for all the, the different markets and for the ground mount installation yeah. because most of them are between 20 25 this we can reach more and we are still testing and improving we have already reached more than 26 but we we begin at 26 yeah why <clears throat> this um we also decrease the um, the consumption of water okay and you can clean this uh you can use the, the dry cleaning and the wet cleaning so we we have one feed here does this yes. go off into multiple jets along the brush voilà. all along the brush we have jets and you can uh, just unmount these brushes you can unmount the big brush and then you have the chassis. Okay. This is unmounted in three parts. Yeah. Brushes, the two brushes. Fine. There are three brushes, but the two sides of brush. Yeah. And then you have the chassis. And you have also two battery. Okay. It's uh, battery powered and you can... And the batteries uh, are under here, yeah? Yeah. The batteries are here. Sorry. This. We have here one battery. Yeah. We have all the connections. They are protected from uh, we are IP67, but okay. it's also protected against the dirt. Yeah. Um, and the battery are just protected from from the water. Okay. And um, that's the case. And you have two two battery. You can you can uh, just clean for a little bit more than three hours and a half. Three and a half hours. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's, yeah. Um, brilliant. So three and a half hours cleaning time. We got two brushes at the front that bounce up and down to cope with the difference in the panels. Yeah. We got one solid brush along the back, which will just continually clean with the long bristles. Yeah. Total weight, Paul. What's the weight of this? Uh, the weight is uh, 115 kilos. 115 kilos. Yeah. But the weight is spread out a long way, obviously across yeah. the tracks. Do the Pascal is uh, the, the calculation with the Pascal that you put on the panel is uh, the same. It just uh, I think is 0.3 percent more than an F1. This is I mean, we can say it's uh, it's equal and the same as the F1. So now the F1 looks like the M1 used to look yeah. Yeah. <laughs> compared yeah. to the you L1. Have the L1, you have the F1, and you have the M1. Yeah. This uh, we have we have uh, a complete range for uh, every kind of uh, rooftop installation. I know we are also busy with this with the the ground mounted system, the ground mounted plant with the L1 yeah and uh, it's a it's a good product easy to use it's the same uh, the same way to use it if you have an F1 you can use it easily at the same way yeah some parts are also the same yeah so you can use your spare parts okay for, from the F1 to the F1 the motors for instance okay but the two brushes are the same yeah the remote control is also the same yeah <coughs> there's many dedicated parts so you see the the cameras the led lights yeah they so they're the all interchangeable voilà you can change the goal is that the the user can use 
both immediately okay. and that you don't have to train the people to use one and, okay. and then to use to the new one. Okay. The goal is too easy, the, the work for everybody. So talk me through the tracks. There's a difference obviously between the length of the tracks yeah, and the, the length. Is, the length is different, but the, the pads are the same. Yeah. Uh, the structure is the same, just the length is uh, different. Yeah. And it's the length of the track that's given more grip, right? Yeah. And the, the, the length and also the weight. Okay, and we got a wider, much wider chassis on here as well. Yeah, which will contribute yeah, to Yeah, we have, uh, more, it's more or less 1.2 1. 1. meter. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Well, Paul, look, thanks for chatting to me. Thank thanks. you very much. This is the scoop, this is the L1. I'm looking forward to seeing this in action later today. Thanks a lot, Steve. Okay, thank you, Paul.